questions. But I'm going to start with Ray, who's the actual like only semi real golfer on the show, um, who might have some some questions to about his game. He sucks, but it maybe yeah, you can well, help. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I have a real serious question. The yips is that a real thing? And if yes, how hard is it to help an athlete get rid of the yips? The yips is real. Um, I get that question all the time. It's more, uh, I think it happens more to older um, golfers because uh, it's more related to the neurological system. Now, of course, it can happen with younger people, but it really is about anxiety. So it's really anxiety with the small muscles. So you're not going to typically get the yips with the full swing, which because you're using your big muscles but you get the yips with the small muscles, like when you're chipping and pitching and putting because anxiety affects our small muscles. Um, and a lot of times the yips has become a bad habit. So like when you get nervous, you kind of, you know, use your right hand too much, let's say when you're pitching or putting and it becomes a bad habit. One of the best ways to get rid of the yips is um, change your grip. You know, instead of having like a conventional, you do, low, you know, um, left hand low or you maybe go to the lawn putter, you know, you can't, you can't put it here, but you can do like Langer does that yeah. she makes, you know, like a, a millimeter from his chest, you know, as long as it's not on your chest. Yeah. But the idea is that most of the time the yips have developed over time, their anxiety and their bad habits. So one of the best ways to break bad habits is uh, revamp something. Um, and the best way is usually to change your grip. If, if you have the yips with putty. Yeah. Do you actually have the yips, Rick? Or have you have you? I've had the yips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, well if you just can't pop? handle pressure, because you can't handle pressure. Well, I can't handle pressure either. <laughs>